Welcome back. Johnston police have said goodbye to one of their most decorated colleagues. After battling an injury for the last year, John Alexander knew that he'd never make the recovery he needed to. Local 5's Jacob Peklo has the latest on this unique circumstance. On Monday, the city of Johnston held a retirement ceremony for John Alexander, who had been with the department for seven years, 11 years total in law enforcement. Now, even though his career was cut short because of injuries, there's still a whole lot to celebrate, both here at the department and across the community. Obviously, this wasn't the plan for, for John to, to be retiring at 31 years old, but um, sometimes we don't get to control that. The splint on John Alexander's hand is from a training exercise gone wrong. Yeah, I thought it would be no big deal, but... Turned out I couldn't get it fixed. John always dreamed of being a police officer. I've never, never had any aspirations to do anything else, so we'll see what I can come up with. And over the years, he delivered. Top-notch operator when it comes to patrol tactics, uh, SWAT tactics. He's, he's the guy when, when things go bump in the night, you want him at your doorstep. So the department said goodbye to him in a very special way. Today, the final tour of duty officer. John Alexander. This dash cam footage pulled from John's patrol car Monday now goes well beyond Johnston. 319, we appreciate your service and your commitment to the police department. I don't know if impressed is the right word, but yeah, impressed that, you know, who showed up and the people that showed up and I guess how many people care. To, to show up. Yesterday was a tough day for everybody, but at the same time, there, there's so many blessings that John has in his life to be thankful for. And his wife Kelly was by his side for his final sign off. Time out, 1441. She's been, been a rock star through the whole thing. And his colleagues' sincere thank yous made it all just a little bit easier. He's going through a difficult time right now, but he's going to be just fine. And John's boss is holding out hope that maybe this retirement doesn't have to be permanent. With the way technology has been advancing, especially in medicine, he's hoping one day maybe John can return to the force. Reporting in Johnston, Jacob Pecklow, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. During his last year on the job, John worked in a limited capacity, mostly behind the desk. He says he's still not sure what's next, but he's planning to spend time at home to figure it out.